Hi friends, welcome back to my channel SciTechWare. In today's video, we'll try to do the CPU throttling test on the iQ7 device after the recent software update, which is 1.72.12. Yes, friends, finally the iQ7 device did receive the software update, which is a 1.72.12, as you can see exactly. And after the software update, I did get plenty of questions asking me to, can you please make a video on the CPU throttling? So how well it is handling after the software update? So can you see any kind of increasing in temperatures and what is the throttling happening? So that is what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. And during my process of demonstration, I'll try to use the RAM, as you can see, extended RAM capabilities as well. That's That will be enabled definitely right now. And I'll try to keep the brightness also close to 50% brightness, as you can see, 50% brightness and is the CPU throttling application. So I'm not using any kind of ultra game mode, nothing. So no ultra game mode enabled during this process of demonstration, as you can see. And complete background applications also, everything cleared. And the settings I'm trying to use is about close to 100 threads and 15 minutes of time. As you can see, friends, 100 threads and 15 minutes. So same kind of testing, which I'll be trying to do before, I thought of doing even right now as well. So let me need to start the CPU throttling just right now and check the temperatures right now. In the before it was close to only 32 degrees in the starting as you can see 32 degrees only in the beginning not bad and the back is of close to 31.6 degrees and my room temperature is close to 26 degrees only so there is no AC there is no cooler nothing at all so right now in the Bangalore it's kind of really very cool at this point and even the indoors also really cool as you can see in the indoor condition so 26 degrees so let's see how much higher the temperatures can actually reach in this phone in the iQOS sound device and how much we can actually expect the throttling happening after the software update as well that, is, that will be my another focus in this device and this is my first time doing the CPU throttling test in the iQOS sound device after the latest software update 1.7.12 so again I'll be back after a couple of minutes of continuously running this test just to check how is the temperatures as well during this process of demonstration so right now as you can see friends uh, we got the score about close to 3 lakhs and the time is about close to 7, 7 minutes as you can see let's check the temperatures so what will be the temperatures right now so right now the temperature is of 39 degrees as you can see friends 39.4 39.6 38.6 so maximum we can get about 39.6 at this point for 7 minutes of time and you can see the throttling how much of it's happening during this process of demonstration and the backs are 39.2 even the backs are also getting much high temperature as you can see here clearly 13.2 back set 13.4 13.2 as you can see how the temperatures are right now so i can be back after a certain amount of time then we can actually discuss in more details as well about this phone and meanwhile don't forget to subscribe and follow me regularly and check the playlist for the iQOO sound device for more latest updates on this iQOO sound device as you can see friends right now the benchmark score has been completed and the temperature maximum it did reach only up to close to 39.6 and that's it it did not cross 40 degree, 40 degrees at all and these are the scores which we got after the software update in the iQOO sound device as you can see friends exactly so the CPU total up to 86 percent of this maximum performance as you can see here really i'll try to take the screenshot right now and this is a test i did only without using any kind of ultra game mode so if i try to use ultra game mode then the results might be slightly different but i'll try to focus even on the ultra game mode as well very soon so make sure to stay tuned for these videos but right now during this process of demonstration we got the highest of 3 lakhs 45,000 and average is of 3 lakhs 17,000 and minimum 272 as you can see friends minimum is the 272 score right now and these are the exact settings i'm trying to use 8 plus 4 gb which is external rank capabilities only i'm not trying to use any kind of uh, ultra game mode and nothing at all so these are the graph which we got i think overall the cpu total not bad 86 percent because before the software update also we did see close to 85 87 kind of cpu totaling happening in the iq 7 device so i cannot see any kind of difference in terms of graph performance so it was pretty normal behaving in terms of the graph performance and that's it friends this is a quick review on the iq sound device and in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below so again i'll be back with another video on this iq sound device and meanwhile signing off bye